Hello, this is Heather from Villa Denari. How are you all? How are you doing with your lockdown? We're okay. Um, it's a bit lonely in my kitchen, but um, I had a phone call from our son the other day and he just said, Mom, I'm missing Moroccan food so much. So this video today is for you, Adam, but also for some of our other guests that have either done cookery classes or missed the, missed the food with us. So I'm gonna teach you how to make something really simple today, which is chicken with lemon, potatoes and olives. Um, so it's really quick. Now I'm not going to take I'm not going to take up too much of your time, and I've done all the preparation in advance. So for this dish, we have chicken. If you make this for two people, you'd want four chicken legs. I'm doing it for six, more or less the same ingredients. So it's chicken leg and then just jointed. You've got preserved lemon. I've got a quarter of a large preserved lemon. I've got one small onion. I've got a bunch of coriander and parsley. Okay, so I've got three garlic cloves here. Right, then spice-wise. So we have cumin, we have coriander, then we've got some turmeric, some dried ginger, salt and pepper. These are sliced potatoes. Now these were medium-sized potatoes, just sliced lengthways. And we've got some pitted green olives. So I'm going to start this really quickly and you'll see there's very, very little preparation. So for this recipe, then you've got the chicken legs, but we're going to start with marinating the meat. Although, okay, it's really fast. So we're going to do, this is one medium onion, which is chopped really finely. We're going to pop that into the tagine. Then we're going to pop our three finely chopped garlic cloves in there, put them in. We're going to put a little pinch or handful of coriander and parsley, chopped. Right, where's my little spoon? Oh, okay. Right, we're gonna say this is a teaspoon, but it's not, so I'm gonna to have to be a bit wary. Right, so we're gonna put a teaspoon of ground ginger, teaspoon of turmeric, teaspoon of cumin, teaspoon of coriander, ground coriander, then we're going to put half a teaspoon of pepper and just a little pinch of salt. We're not going to put a lot of salt in there at the moment because we've also got a preserved lemon which is quite salty so we don't want this dish to be too salty. Then we're going to put three, this is a mixture of olive oil and sunflower oil. So we like to mix our oils here. I'm going to put one, two, three, I'm actually gonna put four large spoons of olive oil in this. Okay, I'm gonna stir that up a little bit. I'm going to chop this lemon. Okay, now this is a preserved lemon. It's preserved in salt. You can buy them in Waitrose, but another day I'll also show you how to preserve them on here. Um, I'm going to take the rind of the lemon and I'm going to just chop this finely. It's the only thing I haven't prepared in advance, but I promise I won't keep you long. But this is going to be such a delicious meal to cook for your family. We'll bring back memories of Morocco and hopefully Villa Denari. Okay, so I'm going to pop that in now. Okay, give that a bit of a stir. Then I'm going to pop my chicken in. This is just about the easiest, actually I think I'm just going to use four. This is just about the easiest Moroccan dish that you can cook. So turn those around. And there, okay. Well, just turn them around. Okay, now I'm going to heat up uh, the ring, the gas ring. You want this on a high heat just to start. Okay, so it's simple, simple. There really isn't very much more to do with it than this. Okay, so when it starts to sizzle, then um, we will add the potatoes and some water and let it cook, okay? So just for now, that's where we are. So it's beginning to sizzle now, so I'm just going to turn the chicken over. 
Now, I made a mistake earlier. I'm not making this for six people. I'm actually going to just make it for two. So I've got four small pieces of chicken, i.e. two chicken legs, which have been cut into four. Okay, so I'm just turning that chicken over. Okay, so <laughs> this is a bit of an impromptu cookery lesson, right? And I'm not a professional chef. I'm just really just doing this, you know, because I thought it would be quite nice to do it. So don't expect perfection from me. So I've turned that over now. It's sizzling away. Now I'm going to add, it's not a case of how much I add. What I'm just going to do is I'm probably going to put about half of this glass in. Or not even half of it. Now, I'm making this in a tagine. Now actually, tagines aren't, aren't actually the easiest things to use. You could possibly be making it, be making it in, in your own kitchen. You don't have a tagine. In which case, I'd say use something like this. You know, something with um, like non-stick, with a lid that goes on it, something that you can sort of see through. It makes it so much easier. Um, with tagines, you have to pay quite a lot of attention to them because they can bubble away and then you have to keep sort of hydrating them and adding more water. But if you make it a saucepan, you probably wouldn't have to. Anyway, so what have I done now? Right, okay. So I'm just going to leave this chicken now, uh, probably to cook for about five minutes, and then we're going to add the potatoes. Now, as you can see, our chicken tagine is bubbling away nicely. It's been in for about five minutes. Okay, now, when you, cook, when you cut your chicken pieces small, they don't really take very long to cook. So I'm going to put my potatoes in now. So these are the potatoes, and this is how I've cut them. Okay, so you can see I took small to medium potatoes, and I cut them in four lengthways, okay? So you literally just place them on the top. And with tagines, you're, you build a tagine. It's not like a casserole where you keep stirring it. Really, once you've put your potatoes in there, you really shouldn't be touching it very often. I always say to people, don't play with the food because it's really that simple. What we do is we baste the potatoes with the juice. Okay, I don't know if you can see that properly. Oh, it's so difficult here. So I'm on my own, so I've got no one to um, move the camera around for me. Let's just show you. Okay, so that's what it looks like at the moment. Oh, that was dangerous. Right, okay, so I'm going to turn this down to low because you don't want this to be uh, bubbling away too much. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the sauce and I'm going to baste the potatoes with it. Now, if you're cooking this in a saucepan, they're really, apart from just checking that you've got the sauce correct and um, that it doesn't need any more season that really is it so I'm just going to pop my lid back on there now now I'm going to have to pay more attention to this because I am cooking in a tagine but said if I was cooking this in a, in a like a casserole dish I'd put the lid on and I'd leave it for 20 minutes just to, and then I'd check it and make sure that the chicken's cooked through and the potatoes are cooked through and that would be it and then you would just serve it now the chicken's been cooking for about 20 minutes now, so I'm just add, just actually adding my olives to the dish. And we leave those to cook in the sauce for about 10 to 15 minutes. So this has been cooking now for another 15 minutes. I'm just checking it, making sure that um, it's properly cooked. Okay, now you can see it. So, yep, the knife slides in there easily. The chicken is all cooked. I've put a little handful of uh, preserved lemons on there. I've also just done a decorate it with a little bit of chopped parsley and coriander. And that is that. So here we have it. We have chicken with preserved lemons, potatoes and olives. Um, I've got myself a little glass of garou and gris. Um, Moroccan wine's really good and, and I'm sure it must be it's 6.30 here so I'm sure it must be one o'clock somewhere so cheers everybody Adam I hope you enjoyed your, the cookery lesson and I hope everybody else did I really enjoyed doing this 
and thanks for joining me. Bye.